When we were making our plans for our first exhibition post-quarantine, we knew that we wouldn't be able to host our typical events in the gallery. We still wanted to be able to share our artists' thoughts and perspectives on their work. And so in lieu of an artist talk for our exhibition, How Have You Been?, we present this video. Each artist gave us a brief statement about their piece for the show and what it's been like making art during a pandemic. We hope you enjoy hearing about their work in their own words. How Have You Been? is on view at the gallery through September 25th. My reductive linoleum print, Cake and Snowman, uh, was born of a stream of consciousness drawing. Uh, the most important thing I have to say about my reductive linoleum work, they take a long time to make. And I really have to like the drawn image before I even begin to think of turning it into a print. The paintings in the show come from a body of work I made early in the pandemic lockdown. They're based on photographs I took during a residency in Beijing, China last November and became metaphors for the physical and psychological conditions people are feeling all around the world. There is isolation and insecurity, but there's also hope and faith in the inventiveness of the human spirit. Most of my paintings are spiritual in nature, not so much in terms of the subjects, but embedded within the process of their creation. Using the spray can and brush, these mediums become a metaphor of the physical versus spiritual realm. The brush interacting with the surface being the physical, while the spray can's atmospheric nature never touches the surface. The cool blue hue eludes to the collective mood during these crazy times, composed of chaotic fast marks and blurred lines. The triangular composition surrounded in darkness with bright lights at the focal point gives the viewer a sense of hope and perspective. Both these works present an imagined history of the object itself while reminding the viewer of the bias in history's telling. Old and ancient things are a contemporary product, their importance forged by the effect of time, but their real histories often speak to the violence of empire and their subsequent downfall. With our nose pressed against the backdrop, the virus has made clear our systemic failures and our need to enter into an age of recuperation. We must make new through reuse, recycling with intention, and rediscovering the world through an altered lens that is more empathetic to a just society. In these deeply challenging days, meditating on these blossom forms and escaping into the pleasure of color, texture, line, and shape have been a wonderful gift for me and have reawakened my sense of hope. In our darkest times, we must remember the beautiful things. So I'd been in a funk because of Donald Trump and the pandemic and everything else awful going on in the world and wasn't producing much art. And I had been watching RuPaul's Drag Race religiously every week to lift my spirits. And Crystal Method, one of the queens on the show, wore this outfit based on Bert and Ernie. And I fell in love and was immediately inspired, made this piece, and got my art mojo back thanks to her. When the lockdown started here, most of my projects were either canceled or postponed, and the city went silent. If I compare our society to clockwork gears, I felt like it was the moment that the machinery broke apart and our time stopped. The paintings in the series pause were the first paintings I made during the pandemic. This series is supposed to represent the state of mind I was in at that moment. I spend a good amount of my time painting letters and figures daily. If a pause number one and pause number four, those painted characters represent time. The loosely painted white scribbles were added after I had finished painting the characters. During the lockdown, I was nervous about supply shortages. For each painting, I had a limited amount of white paint in a small cup, and I had a rule that I needed to use up the white paint to complete each piece. Using up the white paint in the cup for each painting reflected a mentality of not wasting anything in order to get through the situation. My cranberry buck paintings have always had an uncanny, even slightly nightmarish atmosphere. When I painted this canvas during the early stage of the lockdown, I felt it had gained another layer of truth. Encounter captures a coexistence of the synthetic and organic and blurs the line between the two. Nature is represented by black and white hummingbird images. However, the light and color that adds a magical quality to the piece is created by a synthetic light fixture and 3D printed crystals. I also incorporated the motif of the hummingbird in 
this piece called Fallen. Uh, in this piece, I was imagining how it must feel like to either be sick or to be part of the struggle for racial justice during the pandemic. And there was this grief and pain that I internalized into this bird form. Hi, this is Mary O'Malley, and the pieces that I have in the show are from my series called Floribunda. I feel really fortunate that my studio is in my home, so when the lockdown started, I didn't lose access to my space. But I definitely felt uninspired in the beginning. When everything started happening, it felt kind of silly or irrelevant to be painting flowers. Um, But I know I needed to work to get me through it. I've always painted my way or made art through difficult times in my life. And I know that I needed to see art right now more than ever, so I needed to make it as well. As this series relates to the current moment, I think of it more as an escape from reality rather than confronting anything specifically. My work is always about a reaction to nature or a relationship to nature. And in the case of these pieces, I was really retreating into a fantasy of nature. These pieces really depart from any realistic or representational depiction of nature in terms of the color especially. They're definitely colors not found in nature and I was really just having fun by surprising myself with different unusual color choices and pushing them to be kind of a bit over the top. These paintings are based on photographs I took four years ago when I was traveling through different towns in Mexico. I made the paintings while sheltering at home, trying to recollect the moment when I passed by strangers' houses. I remember the feelings I had, loneliness, isolation, but also a sense of curiosity and warmth when imagining people who live there. In this piece, I'm using the linoleum like a sketchbook and recording uh, news stories and my reactions to the pandemic. I found the news and my reactions so varied and overwhelming that in order to include them, I needed to be very efficient. And so within the heart, I decided to include universal icons expressing all of the unbelievable stories and people affected by the news in that simple imagery. What has kept me grounded during the COVID-19 pandemic is taking walks in nature and reaching out to friends. My studio building in Harwich was closed in mid-March. The painting in the show, Marsh Path, was started in my Harwich studio and finished in a makeshift studio in my living room. Not having access to my studio was very stressful, but like everyone else, you figure out ways to cope. Over the last few months, I've been exploring a website that collects public surveillance footage and using screenshots from this footage as source material for a new series of paintings. I had been hearing about how other countries were dealing with COVID-19 in the news, but through this footage, I've been able to experience an unadulterated view of streets, businesses, and landscapes from around the world, mostly devoid of human activity. Over the last few months, this has become my way of staying connected to the outside world and finding fresh visual inspiration in foreign environments despite being otherwise restricted. Hello there, my name is Carlos Santiago. I'm an artist at 13 Forest. My new body of work was inspired by tape that I found at a hardwood store in Maine. These tapes are very bright and colorful and very um, nice colors, I would say. And I was looking for ways to incorporate them in my paintings uh, that I was going to create this winter. And uh, once I realized that I was gonna be on a lockdown, uh, I knew that would be it, Uh, I would have to really sit down and just create happy, bright paintings. Um, I'm I'm very excited with the results and uh, I think it's something that I'm going to be continuing using in my future paintings.